So today we're looking at BenQ's new gaming projector, which is the X500i, an amazingly catchy name, which goes up to 4K as well as 244 hertz, though not at the same time. There's some give and take, we'll talk about that. But it is a four LED short throw laser projector. And there's a lot of goodness that comes with that and a lot of awkwardness, but we'll talk about it and we'll see if it's the right projector for you. So immediately, why do you even want a projector? Because it looks freaking amazing. Yeah, it's a big screen and it will be bigger than anything that you've ever used ever. Like in terms of maximum, yes, absolutely. But also in terms of the minimum for this short throw projector, it'll still be a freaking huge screen even at its absolute smallest. You're gonna have a good time and it's going to look great. Of course, there's gonna be some caveats with that, but just in general, if you haven't played on a high frame rate TV with a low latency, you know, an actual gaming monitor, this is going to fill in that niche. You could totally use it as a gaming monitor for eSporting even. It might be a little hard to set up, but you know, you could absolutely do that. As well, color, accuracy, everything about this just visually massages your freaking eyeballs. And so yeah, I totally appreciate it. Some caveats though, is that being a projector, being a short throw projector, or I'm not really sure why, but there seems to be some differences with some projectors I've seen in the past where the edges are just a little bit more blurry. I do think that is from the the nature of it projecting where if you look at the corners they're slightly more blurred than in the center but overall with such a big screen you're gonna have a really immersive experience that is gonna feel really great as long as second caveat that it is perfectly dark in wherever you have this projector so you need blackout curtains you need to be in a basement or it needs to be midnight with all the lights off you are not gonna be having this thrown out into your living room. Now do keep in mind that through my testing and this anti-review, I've put it into a lot of different places. Obviously the ceiling, different kinds of walls, and uh, yeah, shower curtains, why not? Yeah, see the thieves in the bathtub, what's up? And even outside of this video, I did a lot of goofy stuff too, putting it outside and oh man, but regardless, this projector really works with specifically a high-end screen. They're, they make projector screens that you can actually utilize. Don't get a cheapie. You don't want a cheapie. You want a good one. And they even have some that make it so that it's more usable during the day. So in my case, I have a modern apartment. I just blasted it on my wall. It really worked out just fine for me, and I really appreciated it. As well, this is meant for console gaming, but you can use it for any console. Basically anything that you can just plug in visually. Uh, obviously, you can watch movies on this. It's not not just gaming too, but I myself, I just plugged it in with my gaming laptop and I had a lot of fun with that. Though, basically, the strangeness with this projector is less on its performance because it absolutely performs. It's really almost entirely all in how you set up the projector, getting it just right. Okay, yeah, we're still definitely playing with a bit. We're going to the future, okay? Yeah, there's gonna be some growing pains, but small steps or whatever until we get to the giant leaps for mankind. <laughs> Before we get to the holograms, we gotta have the awkward conversation about where to put your projector. This is a short throw projector. So yeah, insert gameplay of me playing awkwardly with it on a dining room table in the middle with the wires just freaking everywhere. Otherwise, you might want to actually put it onto your ceiling, uh, but most people have ceiling fans. Maybe you might have noticed that. So the short throw means it really wants to be in the middle of the room. A lot of people have man caves, and if you want a console companion down in the man cave, then yeah, this is perfect. You could put it on the ceiling. You don't have a ceiling fan down there, but most people, most times, most places, you're gonna have a hard time figuring out what to do with this projector, to be completely frank. But if you find the right spot, the right time, and you know, blackout shades and you can actually start to have a ton of fun with this projector. And I know I did, even in this anti-review fashion. Oh yeah, absolutely. I found a time and place for this. There's a lot of clunkiness and awkwardness in projectors in general, and even maybe specifically this one. Uh, maybe even if you're in a convention center, you know, figuring out the, the right place where the lighting doesn't just completely obfuscate everything that you're trying to do, and then also angling it just correctly so that you don't have to use the 2D keystone, because if you use the 2D keystone, then you're not going to have the reaction time, the gaming reaction time that you actually properly want. You're not going to be able to have it running at the frame rate that you want. You really want it to be just, just perfectly dead center on, which could be strange because it's a short throw. So normally that means it's like it's in the middle of your apartment, it's in the middle of your 
your room. But other things, even just setting it up, even if you have the perfect position, perfect lighting, just literally turning it on is, is a little strange. Like, instead of being a smart TV, right, where like everything is just, it just works, you turn it on and you can go to YouTube and Hulu or whatever, this you have to literally plug in a dongle and like unscrew a compartment in the back of the projector, plug in the dongle, plug it in and it's just, it's just freaking weird. Uh, and I understand why they have done that uh, for heating issues and, st and such, uh, because projectors do get freaking hot, but it's just strange. Keeping in mind as well with that heat, there is a fan noise. There is a buzz. It's not going to be completely silent like a television. There's going to be noise. But of course, if you're you're playing on a projector, you want like those bigger experiences. So you're probably gonna have the volume up just a little bit. And in saying that, can I report if the audio is good? The sounds are great. Left and right speakers, Fills up the whole room, feels good. There's a slight buzz, just know that. Projector's gotta keep that laser cool. So yeah, you can totally just plop this down into like a basement and you're gonna have a good time. Obviously, if you have such a big screen that looks so good, you probably want a sound bar, you know, eventually to level it up, but can you just start with this and be totally satisfied? I absolutely think so. Now on a note on how bright this projector gets, it gets to specifically 2200 ANSI lumens, which is really freaking good. If you just throw this into a bedroom, play it at night, close the curtains, obviously in a basement, that's really where this is going to shine. But absolutely not is it a living room situation, um, especially like even if you just have any sort of lights whatsoever, it's going to be significantly dimmer than televisions, monitors, and even other like obviously higher end projectors. Around 3000 lumens is maybe where you could start to think of like, okay, this is my daily driver, which is in fact something that I utilize for, but I think this one is going to find a home in my man cave, in my studio, where if I just ever want to swivel my chair, turn around and play some Call of Duty on the big screen, then I can absolutely do that. But just keep in mind, that's definitely what this projector is for. It is a console companion, not your daily driver for every media ever in any situation. And hopefully, through the anti-review style of this review, maybe you're really picturing that now. Projectors are not just ubiquitously the future. It is a futuristic tech that can be wielded and to such an amazing, awesome experience. I mean, we go to movies, right? You get it. But that can be brought to home, and that can be brought to your video game experience. And I can say, from me playing Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, I had a tremendous time. I really appreciated seeing all of those frames in such a big screen just feeding into my skull. Such a great time. And then I even played some PC games, really pushing the Hertz, 240 with Battle Bits, and that was completely playable. I still suck at that game, but it was absolutely playable. And then of course, jumped into some party games, some casual games, played in bed, and then yeah, obviously not just gaming, I even watched YouTube, watched movies and shows, and overall, I had a fantastic time with this little box. And I do appreciate the form factor. There are some projectors that are larger, maybe more powerful, but this one is really just the absolute probably like best bang for buck like little box that you can really take around it's easier to lug around than a giant tv that's for sure so if you want to go set up a little game tournament somewhere if you want to go plop this down in your son's room so that they can have an awesome time playing again okay, maybe call of duty maybe they can fortnite it up esports i don't know whatever they're into this little box the x500i absolutely is going to do it and it's not going to break the bank yeah, there's just a couple of things to, to really kind of nail down here is that every single projector, not just this one uniquely, has very specific specifications that need to be met for it to be optimal. For instance, if you actually go on the website, you can get the exact statistics, but there is a certain distance this projector needs to be away from the wall to meet certain like quality standards, brightness, reflective, and also how <laughs> like big the image can get or how small you might want it. And so you're going to need to reference this whenever you buy any projector for like the size of your room where you plan you might be able to hook it up and play things. And so just that alone, just be, can you even have a projector? Which projector can you even buy? So even if this one is overall the best bang for buck, can you even use it in your situation? Because ideally these projectors would be mounted to a ceiling or this being a short throw is going to probably sit kind of right in the middle of your room. If it's a small room like mine, maybe you're lucky you can't actually put it on a wall. But in the end, these are things you gotta consider. And then at that, 
Moving on past that, there's more awkwardness setting it up because wherever you put it, you have to remember like the cords and your console and everything has to be kind of near it. And so it's like, how do you rearrange your whole room and your whole life to make a projector work? Now, personally me, I have done that. I have rearranged my whole life to work with a projector because I'm a freaking nerd and it just worked out for me personally. But then I moved into an apartment with a lot of windows, a lot of light, and I had to concede. Now I have a projector in my gaming room. I have a projector in my bedroom. Room, but the living room, I had to get a TV. That's just the nature of projectors. So it's the future for sometimes, <laughs> for someone, somewhere, but not ubiquitously just the future. Like, you know, when you watch sci fi, everyone's using holograms. Sorry, it's not quite there yet. Oh, and maybe it might not ever be. Because really, for a projector to work like that, you would probably need better screen technology. And then at that point, you have to set up a screen that costs a ton of money, and then that has to be put in specific places. And yeah, it's it's all very strange. It's all very weird, but I don't know, maybe the future is weird. One thing that I can appreciate about projectors, especially as somebody who is mostly nomadic, is that they are easy to just kind of lug around and throw around. Even if you have a screen, you normally can fold those up or roll those up and transport those a little bit easier. So in that kind of sense where maybe more and more people are moving around, being more nomadic or minimalistic, yeah, that's pretty neat. You know, it's kind of a fun hobby to get into. But overall, projectors, let's admit it, it's going to be for the people who sit in their basements, you know, and they just have those big giant parties, possibly you know, gaming conventions, um, obviously game tournaments. It's going to be for those bigger, more specific people and experiences and not all the time, not always, not everywhere, but there's absolutely a place for this. And to convince you about it, I think the price is really fair too. All right. So who is this projector for? Honestly, it's definitely going to have to come down to the specifications of where you want to put this, what room you want to put it in. But I definitely think it's going to be for the console gamers who really enjoy a cinematic experience. The next generation of consoles can really push the hertz. You can play at the highest fidelity, 4K, or, you know, on high frame rates, and this is going to be for you. Or actually, if you're somebody like me and you like to move around a projector and try it in different experimental ways, I honestly don't see why not either. You just gotta keep in mind the limitations and the specificity that comes with trying to play on a projector. That's really it. But definitely gonna be for those who want an experience and to share that with people. The reason you have such a big screen is to immerse yourself and then also to bring others into that immersion too. So if you love co-op games, party games, fighting games, racing games, and just, you know, sharing that with other people, you can absolutely do that. Or just sit in your dark room, in your dungeon, <laughs> and play some sci-fi games on your roof. I guess we can do that too. Welcome to the future. So in finality, most of my review of this projector is honestly just around the idea of projectors itself. The X500i completely performs, it's a fair price, and overall I just kind of want to try to convince people to get into the idea of a more grand, epic, you know, lifestyle. You know, you play games, go big or go home. Or maybe you can actually have big in your home. So, yeah, <laughs> definitely check out the X500i by BenQ. Thanks for sending over a review copy. Much love, friends and family, and I'll see you in the next one.